Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you. I will say God bless you for subscribing. If you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. President Buhari orders Aba Kayari to query Victor Jihadam for insubordination. President Muhammad Buhari has ordered his chief of staff Abba Kayari to issue query to the Deputy Secretary General of All Progressive Congress, APC Victor Jihadom. We gathered that the president, buoyed by Jihadom's insubordination, for single handedly summoning the National Executive Committee and EC, is not happy with the rivers in the region, arrogating too much powers to himself. Sources disclosed. That the president on Friday summoned the chief of staff to his office and instructed him to issue query to Jihadom. The president is said to be annoyed with Jihadom, who is arrogating powers of chairman and secretary general to himself, he told me. Jihadom has invited members to the National Executive Council meeting slated for Tuesday at the national headquarters in Abuja. The president, Muhammad Buhari, is not happy with Victor Jihadom. As I talk with you now, he has instructed his chief of staff, Abba Kayari, to query him. The meeting Jihadam summoned is illegal. Everybody, including the president, believes it is illegal. A party insider disclosed. The NEC meeting is the meeting of National Working Committee, NWC, the president, vice president, governors, national assembly members, and other elective officers of the party. Jihadom has been having a running battle with the APC national chairman, Adam Toshiomole, after an Abuja Federal High Court ordered the letter to step down from his exalted position. Toshiomole, however, secured a counter judgment compelling the Independent National Electoral Commission, Heineck, to only deal with the former Edo state governor as, as the recognized chairman. Wow, so guys, what do you think? What is your own take about this news? You know, now saying that it is uh, President Muhammad Buhari that actually ordered for the query of jihadum. Wow, now it shows that they are they, they now the party is beginning to crumble. That's what I can say about it because um, we all know that we all know all the atrocities that the APC party have performed. And they are still performing right now. So it is like the, God is really dealing with them. And God is really trying to scatter their their gathering together. You know. Uh, you know. And that's the part of it. You know. Somebody said that God bless our incompetent ceremonial president halfway. Imagine the Jiyadom along Amichi. That did not win their word during election. Now destabilizing APC. Hmm, wow. And Jihadom and Amichi have been known as greedy people who want to hit from where they did not so you know i said even if we don't know the stand of our president at least he has instructed his boss and commanders of the armed forces to do the needful you know and the thing is that we all know that uh our president is not the one that is leading right now we all know that there are cabals somewhere that are leading the country right now most especially about kayari those are the set of people that are controlling our country right now we are just praying for god to take charge of this Nigerian system like right now and God should make it a perfect one, you know. Because the issue is that how can Abakayari query an officers of a political party? How can he do that? You know? Of a political party for that matter, government and party affairs are different. And are do differently. And which is true, they are different totally totally. They are two different things entirely. How can he how can he do so? Because the meaning of all this thing is that it shows that APC is a party of confused people. They don't even know they are bearing. They are not organized. I'm telling you the truth. Abakayari is a party officers. 
official. It's a party officials. So is Abakayari holding a party post? That's a question that we need to ask ourselves. So which means no wonder Buhari's government is failing because he cannot make decisions on, on his own. He can make decisions on his own. There are still some set of people that are controlling him. Because the question that we also need to ask ourselves is that what power do Abakayari have to query Juado? He doesn't have any power. Because this is not a civil service structure, but a party structure for that matter. And in the structure, where, where do Abakayari fit him? It's not because it's not a recognized position in the constitution and the party structure. And now they are just taking decision on their own. They're taking decision on their own. It's just so absurd. And somebody said that uh, when Inam the Kanu called Nigeria Izu under the government, I think that it's even underestimated. Otherwise, how come this president fail to realize he has no power? How much more to issue instruction to his chief of staff, query party secretary? How much more? The thing is that Bakayari doesn't have the rights whatsoever to query the sec general of a party. He is just an appointee. Why Jihado is an elected officer of the party, so he doesn't have a right at all. So guys, what is your own take about this news? What is your own opinion about this same news talking say, uh, that uh, Jihado was being queried? You can imagine this. I would say we have a, a government, a government that does not have a stand, a government that does not have its bearing, a government that cannot even take decision on their own, a government that recently now things are beginning to crumble in Nigerian system right now. And what is the Nigerian government doing about it? Nothing. And you know, this is just, may God help us in our country, government right now. It shows that all these things that Inam Dekanu was saying so far is true. It's true. Nigeria doesn't have a good government. They they don't have a good leader, and we are still have we are still facing that, and that's those are the things that we are facing in Nigerian system right now. We just we are, we can't wait for their own tenor to be over. We are praying that we have a better Nigerian leaders as soon as possible. That's just our prayer. So guys. What is your own take about this news? What is your own opinion? Your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you. I will say God bless you for subscribing. If I yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below and also press the notification button for more updates on every news that we're going to upload. And God bless you and thank you so much for making this channel a success. Bye.